If you spend any amount of time online, you see them all the time. Offers of a gift card if you complete a survey. Don't be fooled. It could be a scheme. To tell us more about it, Debbie Bridgman with the Better Business Bureau of Southeast Texas joins us. And Debbie, thanks so much for coming in today. Anytime. So how does this scheme work? Well, it's real simple. I mean, you either get an email or you see something on social media. You get all excited. It says you can win a $100 gift card. You're like, great. All right. Click on the link, and there's a couple of things that could happen. I mean, for one, it's not real. I mean, that's the big thing. Um, when you click on that link, it could download malware on your computer. It could try to get your personal information. Um, you know, right now, it's summertime. So you see something that says free airline tickets or a free hotel or something like that. So you start thinking, hey, this is good, you know, $100 gift card. I want to do that. But the problem is, is that these are not legitimate websites or even surveys. And I will say, I guess, when the whole first computer thing started coming around the Internet and all that, I mean, a lot of us, I think, were trapped into thinking, hey, this is looks like a real deal. Let's see what we can get, right? Well, but it's, I mean, when you weren't even asking for it, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to, say, Whataburger and you get your receipt and it has a little thing, take our survey, you'll be entered to win $100. Well, you were there. You're going to the website. You know, okay. they've given you that information. But when something appears in your email or social media out of the blue and you didn't even ask for it, that's where the problems start. How has the response been to this type thing? Is it uh, more prevalent than we would think? You know, it's kind of 50-50. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, when people are down, down and out and they want those free airline tickets or, or a hotel or a $100 gift card, they get a little desperate and they just start acting before thinking first. So it's not too bad. Most people know. Don't do that. You know, and there's a lot of great tips that we have that can help people to find a real survey as opposed to a fake one. All right, let's talk about some of the, how, how we can spot a fake voucher. Well, one is, uh, it's a website called whois.net. And so if you see a link to a survey, you can copy the link and you can go to whois.net, put it in, and it'll tell you when it was formed and who the owner is. Hmm. If, if it was created pretty darn quick, like just last week, that's a big sign. That that's a scam right there. Right. Um, if uh, if it's some like if you can't really tell who the owner is, if it's not saying you know Target Corporation or Sears Corporation, there's another red flag right there. So that's a great website, a great tool to check out. And of course, BBB.org is a great place to investigate a business as well. Mm -hmm. um, some of the other things is um, you could be careful of the links where it's like not just say Target.com, it's Target Take Our Survey.com or something to where it's got a brand name in it. But all of a sudden, it's like longer, or it's got dots, or you know, that's that's another red flag to watch out for. Know that a legitimate business is not going to ask you for your banking or your credit card information for taking one of their surveys. Right. They really want you to take their survey because a lot of times that's all they've got to see if they're doing good business or not. Um, another one is just you know be careful if it's too good to be true. We always say that it probably is because a business is probably not going to pay you $100 to take one of their surveys. They may, you know, give you a chance to be in a drawing to win $100. They may offer you, uh, say, PetSmart, for instance. You get your receipt. I take their survey. I get $2 off. Great deal for me. I'm there anyway. So just, you know, know what's good and what's not. All right, Debbie, thanks so much. And any questions, contact the BBB of Southeast Texas. That's right. All right, thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you.